I want to talk about an irony of weak forces. Now, th this, uh, this irony is centers on a metaphor, you know, of what is it, the four or five, you know, forces of physics. Uh, gravi complicated subject. Okay, gravitation, however you look at that, is, is a weak force, right? Gravitation, like little tiny particles, gravitation is so weak, they're almost entirely governed by electrical forces. Gravitation is like a secret, barely even, you know, it's like, well, really? There's a little tiny... Okay, weak force. So, the irony is that when you look at the shape of really big things, they're defined by weak forces. The shape of galaxies is driven and entirely, you know, determined more or less, basically, within the realms of individual stochastic patterning by the weak force gravity. Okay, so strong forces shape things in short time periods and, and weak forces shape things on my dog thinks that that's a ghost okay shape things on a big scale weak forces shape things the weak forces are more powerful than strong forces over time why because the weak forces shift around quickly. That's why they affect a short time scale. So they become, well, this way, and then, oh, this way, and then, ah, this way. And, and over time, the effect of that, over large scales of time, the effect of that averages out to not much. And the weak forces are more consistent. They're weak, but they keep going. They're weak, so they don't change things right away and like negate themselves by changing the situation so the force is different they don't have an effect on the short term so the short term situation remains the same and they keep going gravity 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 and then on the long term the shape of things is defined by the weak force right? so this is the secret power of weak forces. So, you know, for example, Newtonian mathematics, uh, physics, is correct to a certain level of approximation. Okay, we know that. Uh, general relativity modifies that. There's a term, but that term is generally small compared to the Newtonian term, unless the relative velocities are, like, incredible, with, you know, levels that don't even happen in the whole galaxy things, you know, there's there's chemical systems in the galaxy, they're shooting out jets, hundreds of thousands of miles an hour and whatnot and it's still, you know, it's not particularly relativistic the, the relativistic term when put in a Newtonian equation would be very small but over the long term that is a weak force that generally general relativistic modification to New Newton's mechanics are short-term compared to the weaker but persistent force of relativity. So in the shape of the whole cosmos you start to see all kinds of surreal things where the subtleties of quantum mechanics, the weak forces, the tiny scale forces of uh, general relativity in a mostly Newtonian universe start to shape things, you see? Do you, do you see why that's significant in the kinds of cosmological questions that, that we tend to like to consider? Or, or no?